Today was the Xbox Tokyo Showcase, a broadcast showcasing a bunch of upcoming games and some developer interviews. A few minutes in, Pocket Pair pops up with a brand new Pal World trailer, and it contains the most information we have received yet. So let's do what we normally do here, react to the trailer itself, and then go through and break it all down. Let's go. Okay, we've seen that bit. Oh, there's music every time. Oh my God, look at these. Oh, he's fluffy. Character customization. Oh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Double jump. Boom, boom. <laughs> Oh my days. Oh my days, look at it. Damn. That was just wild. Now let's go through and break it down scene by scene. So we came in on this scene here, which we've seen previously. The music drops and just gets me hyped, but here we go, we got a Pen King. Now we've seen the little penglets before, but this is the Pen King. We got a war sect here, this guy's a beast. So what I'm getting from this is these are either bosses of these versions or these are evolved versions. Now they do seem like bosses more than anything, but they are incredible. Look at him. Okay, look at this castle we've got up behind. So here we can actually see some of the scale difference of the map. We have a bridge down here, but we also have a bridge at the top of this mountain. That's one thing that's always appealed to me with this game. The height differences, the mountains, the scenery, all just looks incredible. But as this pans around to the left, we seem to have a whole castle build up here as well. Okay, so here we have some in-engine gameplay. Whoa, 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 back it up. And we have some of the powers that we've previously seen fighting the king of the forest, Mamo Rest. Now, keep an eye on the health bar here. Look at the damage. They are cooking him up. Now, this is crazy. If I'm being perfectly honest, I always got the impression that the character customization was going to be pretty basic. I always thought it was going to be similar to just Craftopia, if not a little bit worse, because we haven't seen much variety when it's coming to the characters but here we can see that you get the body types which you can adjust which would just be a masculine or a feminine build we then have preset colors but you can fully adjust the colors to get the perfect color that you want and over on the left hand side we have body face and hair we also see that this is where it says start the game so this is going to be before we actually get in there i really wish they clicked on some of those other settings because i want to see the face options and the hair but what is cool here is as we go into this next part so as we once we've chosen the color look at these options here so again we've got the body type it would be the feminine and the masculine we also then have the skin color but we have torso size arm size and leg size we do see them adjust them but it'd be interesting to see if we have these similar settings in the face and hair as well i would actually love to be able to choose something like hair length or be able to adjust the face to choose the size of the eyes, size of the mouth, all that sort of stuff. Now, I don't think it will be crazy details, but having that variety is just so cool. And it's something that I personally did not expect. I underestimated Pocket Pair here and they just knocked it out of the park. But watch this customization here. What in the incredible Hulk is happening here? Whoever is creating this character... <laughs> Oh my damn. Whoever's creating this character obviously likes them thick, but we can also see down in the bottom left, we have camera zoom, character rotation, and camera vertical movement. So you can have a good look at your character, customize the physique settings. It's just, oh, I'm so excited. Which you can also see down in the bottom right, you have a random setting as well. So if you wanted to, you could just skip this process, randomize it, sort it. But this I'm very impressed with. Good job, Pocket Pack. Okay, look 
at this. What on earth are we looking at? So this is one of our first proper looks at multiplayer. So here we can see various players. We have player one over here and that player is level three. They're riding a univolt which is an electric type. And then over on the left over here we can see a level five player and they are using a neutral. And then we have this main character here which is running a fire. And we can actually see some of the variety in the character customization here. So on the right we have some green bushy hair we got some blue kind of pigtails kind of hair going on here and we've got our standard that we've seen since the start but what really did catch my eye in this scene look at these chests there seems to be lootable chests dotted around the map which i guess will contain certain items maybe such as weapons and things like that but this is just incredible to get our first proper look at multiplayer here and take a look down the bottom we have that we are using our pal we have a dismount option but we also seem to have an under investigation option and nothing set to two other buttons also if you notice this is all done on controller now we already know it's coming to xbox but we haven't actually seen a lot of pc stuff since these trailers and gameplays have been being dropped so i really do hope that they haven't forgotten about us keyboard users but of course it's fantastic to see them take controller into consideration as well but also we can see a lot going on over here we've got a pal up here that's just stood there one is let down we got all this scenery is just incredible and again another multiplayer look here but this time is all of us flying it's so cool i can't wait to do this but if we're looking off in the distance back here we've got a bit of a glow over this way a bit of a change of biome we've got an area over this far right hand side which i would only be guessing but that looks a little bit like a craftopia boss arena but that means nothing we've got a snow mountain up at the end giant tree over at the left there's just so much going on i can't take it all in but then we have these towers which look very similar to the new seamless towers maybe they're going to be just to unlock certain areas of the map or maybe they're going to have some of these faction leaders or whatever it is in there but they do show these a lot look at this look at that oh my days watch everybody fight in here just look they're getting cooked this is just incredible i take it this means they're in combat not sure what this san 100 is but wow 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 that's so crazy okay here we have power abilities now we can see down in the bottom left that we have dig choice as our chosen power right now and we are using his special ability to mine up these rocks this is something that's always been very appealing to me when watching this game is seeing how the powers do stuff for you but we can just say go and do that but right down at the bottom it says ability boost is available from inventory almost as if yes we have these abilities that our pals can do but we also then have an option to boost them to make those abilities even better whether that's a temporary boost or a permanent i don't know but it's nice that if you have whatever it is it will prompt you to say you're slacking here pump it up but that's crazy Okay, what do we have here? We have a Feng Lope. And with this one, we can actually see at the bottom that those buttons are linked to different abilities. We have a right trigger to activate Acid Rain. We have a B to activate an Aqua Blast. Then we also have the Under Investigation, which makes me think perhaps we have to research these abilities. But just look at this map. There's a lot of these smoke signals around, but the map is huge. If you see this statue right here, is this going to be a faction or something? But this, oh, that is wild. Look at this. We are riding on a jet dragon, which is absolutely annihilating a horde of these big dudes. And we can also see there's a couple of variations of them, which is cool. But this is wild. I'm not sure what these did to deserve getting carpet bombed like this, but I'm down. Wow. And of course, my favorite part of Pocket Pairs games automations and here we can see things actually working together and varieties working together this was one thing i really wanted clarifying so here we can see we have two different fire pals lighting up these furnaces we have a row of these little cats bringing the loot back for us 
Over the left, you can see a variation of PALs all working on these conveyor belts with some electric ones up the top as well. This is what I wanted to see. Freedom when it comes to our automations. Not one PAL does one thing. But look at that. Whoa, hold on. Who is this big guy? He's huge. But there you go. It's a little bit fading out there, but you can see how wild that looks. The base building in this looks so good. And of course, I'm a huge fan of automation. One of the more familiar scenes of these building the guns. The powers with weapons. Look at him. <laughs> Just... Oh, so cool. The Elizabeth. Again, another boss looking pal. We've got the normal versions on the sides, but we have that leader one. I can't wait to do these kind of battles. Faction leaders. They are getting smoked. They are getting smoked. And there we go. That is the latest Power World trailer. And honestly, best trailer yet. It was just a bunch of information, but it was a variety. It was a very good look at what's to come. And of course, some stuff that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> But honestly, the entire Xbox Tokyo game show was great, but Power World carried it. Every time we've seen Power World at one of these expos, it just carries. Honestly, this game is already one game of the year for me, and it's not even out yet. Just by the trailers. But we must wait until January for the official release. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do drop a like and subscribe. Join the Kaz Gang Discord. All the links are down below. Huge shout out to Pocket Pair for smashing it with this trailer. I would love to see a little bit more on this character creation, but I don't think they need to i think what they've left us with here these little nuggets are just beautiful so incredible work pocket power i can't wait to get my hands on this game as well as many others this game is really gaining a lot of traction and i'm hoping that now we're starting to get a little bit closer to the end of this year any promo that comes out now is just going to be juicy and getting a look at that multiplayer as well that kaz gang server is going to be sick but also remember there was recently a q a which i've completely covered on my channel which tells us all about multiplayer servers factions everything but it's very good to have a look at it as well but that's it from me peace Listen.